hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i wanted to basically show you guys some ways in which you can use your nail art brushes because there are a range of brushes going from liner brushes to application brushes so i hope you find this video helpful so for this first nail i'm going to be using the young nails gel paints in shades orbit and sonic and I want to show you guys basically the consistency of these gel paints these aren't too thick but you want them kind of runny and the reason for that being is so that you have a bit more control if they're too thick then it will be harder to move the product around with the brush so here i'm just showing you that they are a little bit runny and nothing too thick and the first thing I'm going to do is show you guys the application brushes. These are round brushes that I like to use for painting the nail and to get really up close to the cuticle. But I just quickly wanted to show you how I would remove the extra glitter or colour that's in these brushes without using acetone, which damages your brushes. So I just ran them through some clear gel and they were all good to go. As you can see, they look better. They, it might not take everything out, but it still definitely gets a lot out. I'm going to start off with basically painting the first half of the nail with the round applicator brush. I have two here because one is a smaller size and one is a bigger size. You can use the smaller one for smaller fingers if you want or for smaller surfaces and areas. But I just wanted to use the bigger one for this nail. And as you can see, I'm just basically mixing the pot because I felt like some of the color kind of settled towards the bottom. So just make sure that you do that. And as you can see, that color just comes out a lot more. So what I like about this brush is that you can get really up close to the cuticle and it's because of its round shape, you can also get that perfect coverage in that area without having to basically um, move your brush around in different angles and whatnot to get that area nice and colored in. Next, I'm using an ombre brush. This one is from Glitter Bells. And what I basically like to do is just use the tip of the brush to feather the color down. And you want to do this with very light pressure. You don't want to pull the product down too much. Otherwise, you will drag the color way too far down and you won't get that kind of blended look. So you just want to start from the tip. And if you need, you can just start to drag more of that color from the top going down so like that so once I was happy with the tip I kind of went further up into that color and started dragging that down then again just showing you that I am mixing these because I felt like the color had settled a little bit towards the bot bottom so just give them a bit of a mix if you're using gel polish you just make sure to roll your bottles around and it will be fine and now I'm just applying that to the other half of the nail and I did cure the dark blue for 60 seconds and I'm just overlapping where that blue is just slightly and I'm doing the first layer really thin and now again doing the same thing with the ombre brush make sure that you have cleaned this off but there's no dark blue on there and basically just feather that going up the same the same way that you did with the dark blue start with the very top part going into the blue and then if need be just drag more of that pigment more of that color up if you feel like you want to get a better blend so i cured that for 60 seconds and this is optional you can go in with a second layer um, i'm just showing you guys that you can do it and it will create a better blend in my opinion so again just repeating that putting on that dark blue blending it down a bit again just go with the tip of the brush and notice how i'm not using like the whole length of the bristles i'm just using like the ever like the tip just ever so slightly you definitely don't want to um, move the product around way too much with this technique and with this brush so again just ever so slightly using the tip and feathering the tip out and it should work really really well of course this does take practice even i'm still perfecting this it's not going to be the perfect the first time or maybe even the first couple of times but once you realize what you need to fix and what you need to change um then you will eventually get there so with this second technique i wanted to show you a different way to use the ombre brush so you can always use that flickering um kind of way to use it 
like that feathering kind of way or you could also flick it from side to side you'll see what i mean in a minute so i'm just applying the colors a little bit thick where they will meet so that i can get the colors to blend into each other well and this is what i mean so you can just get the brush and just basically flick from free um, from side wall to side wall and that will help blend the colors i do find that you can you should probably repeat this a second time like i am now i cured that for 60 seconds and i'm going in again because with this one there's more chances of lines like showing up so i just prefer to go over this with a second layer and this is fairly easy it's much easier than the first method you just basically have to keep um, going back and forth until you feel like the colors have blended well and definitely don't forget to clean off your brush if you need to and that's pretty much it again for this one you can put a bit more pressure on this one because i feel like you need to put a little bit extra pressure on here just so that the colors can kind of blend together which will be great and that's pretty much it for those two so the next set of brushes are going to be these long liner brushes that i have one is from madame glam and one is from glitter bells it's called the long fine liner and one is slightly thick and one is slightly thin but you can pretty much use this in the same way so i'm using the black gel paint from young nails and I like to use these brushes to create really long straight lines going across the nail. So not in like a specific area on the nail, I mean like completely across the nail. And I like this brush to do this because I try to do my lines like without moving the brush much. So I like to do it in one stroke. Of course, there are times when I like to lift my brush and kind of go over it and whatnot. But... I find that these long brushes are perfect for those one stroke lines, especially if you're going straight across the nail um, in order to get that kind of really nice straight line. So that's what I like to use the really long liner brushes for and I feel like it works perfect for this. However, it is easy to make mistakes. For example, let's say you're drawing a line which is too close or you've not made it straight enough. You can always go in with this angled liner brush which i really really love for cleaning up i always use this for cleaning up and i just dip it in some acetone and i basically just wipe away the line and it works perfectly for this so this is how you could use the liner brush and then just going with your line again so with this brush you kind of just want to really really make sure you have good balance make sure that your ring finger is balanced on um, then the, the finger that you're working on or a surface or something just make sure that you have good balance because if you have good balance you will learn how to control your brush and learn how much pressure to put on and the amount of pressure you put on will um, show what kind of how thick your line is going to be so the less pressure I put which is what I'm doing now will create thinner lines but when I put more pressure, it will create a much thicker line. So just make sure that you are considering that when drawing your lines. Try to have good balance and little pressure for thin lines and good balance and more pressure for thicker lines. Here I'm obviously using less pressure because I want my lines to be nice and thin. And also take your time because if you do rush this part it will mess everything up like unless you're a complete like professional sure maybe you can like really do this quickly but even for myself i find that i have to go really nice and steady because then i get a nice straight line just like i am here but yes just try work at your pace and i'm sure it will be fine again just made a little mistake there so i'm just cleaning it up with my angled brush now for this nail, I just wanted to show you as well that you can do really nice straight lines going down the nail as well, which I really like um, this brush for. Like I said, I like to do the one stroke, so it's just really, really nice and easy to do this with this kind of brush. And 
I'm using really light pressure so the lines are not coming out um, as opaque as I want them to. Just make sure that you're loading your brush up with enough product or you can just go over them the way I am now. I just prefer to go over them afterwards just to be on the safe side um, because I find that when I do add um, a bit too much product it will kind of create a thicker line. Again, I am still practicing myself a bit, so I do still find that I need to work on that, but so far I feel like I'm doing okay. So now just showing you how I would go across the nail. So when I go across the nail, I like to do this in two parts, I mean two strokes. So I like to go over the first line, halfway across the nail, and then the second line going across the other half of the nail. And sometimes I like to start from the opposite um, side wall, so like I am now. So I'd go from one side wall for one line and then starting from the other side wall for, to meet the other line in the middle. So that way I get a nice straight line. You can definitely do this in one stroke as well. It's just that I prefer to do it this way. I just find it's easier and I can make the line straight as I go across. Also, don't forget that you can move the nail around just the way I am here. I'm just using my thumb to kind of move the nails around as I go. And that's pretty much it for this brush. So the next set of brushes are smaller detailer brushes and also Young Nails' micro detailer brush, which is an extremely thin, skinny brush. And I'm using the Gel Paint Power Up, which is a beautiful red. And what I like to use these brushes for is basically for the really small details. So whether that's um, shapes or whether that's lines, I'll show you in a minute. I find that I can get a really good um, intricate design with these brushes. Again, you can use that cleanup brush to clean up any mistakes. And yeah. This brush is like a complete must have. You must have this brush in your brush collection if you do this kind of stuff because it's just so amazing. So here I am just creating a couple shapes, you know, something small, something that is a little bit trickier to do. I find that I can definitely pull it off with these kind of brushes. And yes, again, this does take practice, but they, they are really amazing for this kind of stuff. And if you're interested to see how I would marble and ombre as well, I have done videos on that, which I will link down below. And it's just basically a video showing how I would ombre and marble with gel polish. Now using the micro detailer brush, I also want to show you that you can use this for like shapes. I like to use this more for outlining really, but I just wanted to quickly show you that you can also use this for like even smaller shapes. So there you go, I just did that really quick triangle and now I'm just filling it in. And if you are interested in this brush, it is I believe £12 from Young Nails because I've not seen such thin brushes really like um, on Amazon or anything. So yeah, just thought you guys might be interested in that. And then I also like to use my dotting tool for shapes, I like to do this a lot with that cheetah print design. I like to do this to create stars. I love to use this for dots. This is such a amazing tool and it comes in a bunch of different sizes. So as you can see, I'm just creating that kind of cheetah print design and this works absolutely perfect for that. You could also use your, your brush for this, I guess, but the dotting tool just helps um, a lot more. This is also really good for cloud nails as well. I know that's been quite popular. It's really, really good for that. And now going back to that micro detailer brush, I wanted to show you how I use this to outline. I love this brush for outlining. It's super, super, super thin. There's barely any bristles on there and it's just so perfect for creating the skinniest line ever. And as you can see, I can do that really easily with this brush. It took me barely any time to do this and yeah, it's just such an amazing brush to have in your brush collection as well. 
and it's also really good for like those round curved areas as well like it's really really good for that i feel like i can get a lot of control and that's pretty much it for that one now for this last nail i wanted to show you how to use a square brush so like a square gel brush or any square brush but before that i just wanted to paint the nail this beautiful dark brown color it's called clutch from the young nails gel paints collection i have done an unboxing and review on this as well on these gel paints so i will link that down below as well and just showing you guys quickly how i would also use this round applicator brush it's really good for just whole nail gel color application it's really quick it's really nice and big and you can just quickly throw on a really nice color i did do two coats of this but i didn't show the second coat so I'm just going to quickly draw a line down the nail. This is just going to be a, a straight line and I'm going to do another one as well. And the whole point of this is to just create a line so that I can show you how to fill in the space in between. So don't worry about this line being too straight and perfect. Just try and get it as straight as you can and it will be fine. Then without curing, get your square brush. This is quite a small one. And I like to basically use this to fill in the space in between. And because of its nice straight edges and sharp corners, it really helps to kind of straighten out those lines that I did with my striping brush. Or if you want, you could even skip the striping brush part and just go straight in with the square brush. Um, but then I do feel like you have to kind of go in later with your brush to kind of fill that in because I like to do the lines before filling in because it acts as a guide so I prefer to do it like that and you can also use the tip of the brush to kind of straighten out the lines like this this is also another really good way to use this brush and it definitely helps I went in with another coat and that's pretty much it for this video I really hope that you guys found some of these tips helpful and i hope that you can now get more use out of your brushes so this is just some of the nails i did and this is all of them so thank you guys so so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and check out my other videos down below and yeah thank you guys so much for watching one more time and i guess i will see you guys in my next video bye guys